What's up, <laughs> straight hair? Don't care. Hey. Your hair looks so good. I was about to say, it's yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, let me just take one second. I got to turn it on. Do not disturb because, you know, somebody will come along and decide. So just give me one second. Okie dokie. I'm back. Yes. Hey, you guys. Hey. How are you? We hey, was. What's going on? Not much. What's going I'm on? Is anybody, hair. Is anybody saying anything? Hello, hello, hello. Mm, no, no one is saying anything. How was your day? It was a nine nine day. Um, oh was it it was um it was good i wasn't i wasn't feeling well so i took a day um i took my day off of work today mm. you know, so okay. just to you know mental health yes yes there you have it everybody needs mental health days yes. okay you guys um i'm gonna get to it because we have reiki tonight Mm -hmm. And I have a huge, huge group, but I can always tell when something's going on, when spirit gives me specific instructions to do something, spirit specifically said, you know, drop that Reiki tonight. So I'm like, okay, spirit, because my life works better when I listen. Okay, so there's just a couple things I want to share. Of course, Sage, I already prayed. Sage and pray, guys. Sage and pray. Yes. And... I just wanted to let you guys know what was going up and then we'll do going up. What's going up? And then we'll um <laughs> it's not we, on yep. a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> we're not just that, we're elevating, right? So right. We're what's going sense. up? Yeah. What's going so up? You. Okay, so listen, I got a okay, major okay. download. Okay. All right. So I feel like I'm gonna give you the tea. All right. Listen, well, I've been drinking water. Perfect. Everybody get your water out. Yes. Is that water to get this... Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. All right. Shout out to everybody who be sipping. Yes. We don't got to know what it is. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> stay hydrated, y'all. Definitely stay hydrated. Hey, everybody. Love, 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 love. Okay, so listen. I'm going to go through the Zodiacs quickly. Um, mm -hmm. I don't, I almost don't want to say it, but if somebody has a, a question that if they want to ask in the bubble, moderator will get it and she'll decide, she'll be able to discern because I am going to go through the Zodiacs. I'm going to run through them really quick towards the end because I want to give you what's going on for the shadow side Ooh. because spirit is saying they broke it down. They broke it down today. I don't like Remember when Sarah does that. Sounds like it's going to be lessons. I know. I know. It'd be a little nerve-wracking. It'd be a, a little nerve-wracking. Hey, young prince. Hey, young prince. Hey, young prince. Um, It'd be a little nerve-wracking when they break it down, right? Because sometimes the way I talk, I don't want people to think I'm being aggressive or whatever. But remember on our last live when it was like no our live before the last live i think when it was like oh my god this is the first day of the last quarter mm -hmm. and it was like what does that mean what does that mean i don't know it's just exciting it's the first day of the last quarter mm -hmm. so i got the download about that so i don't know where i was all this time that i wasn't paying attention to this but when they broke down the numbers they were like okay 2021 numerology wise if you okay. add it together it's a five five mm -hmm. is the number of change transitions ups downs all arounds okay. what do people hate more than anything people hate change mm -hmm. it could be good it could be bad they still don't like it you could be moving to a brand new house and you'll still complain that you got to move your shit out of your first house to your new house so people don't like change mm -hmm. all this change is going on but it happened to push people out of their comfort zone and get people to where they need to be. Now, that is why 
people are breaking up, people are getting divorced, people are getting together, people are having love at first sight, people are coming out of situationships, turning them into relationships, all kind of transition is happening. People are passing away. People are like, you know what, um, it's been real, I'm going to opt out. Now, we know that it gets sad and stuff, but all of us are going out of here one day, right? We're all, it's inevitable. Nobody has been here since the beginning of time to, unless they reincarnate it. So people are choosing to leave now too. And I'm not talking about suicide. I'm talking about spiritual contracts with their angels and their guides and stuff like that. So we have a tendency to get upset and get uptight because we're really stuck on not liking change. We're right at a crossroads. You know, I'll be the one to warn you. I'll be like, hey, you about to miss the train, honey. You better get on the train. You know, I don't want nobody to be left behind. So I'll be like, uh, you better hurry up. I'm going to save your seat. But when they close the door, like, this reminds me of a time at the airport when somebody was getting food. And I was like, they about to close the door. <laughs> You better come on. They about to close the door. And you know when people get on the food, get on an airplane and they got food and they food smelling all good and don't nobody else got no food and you feel, but you eating it on the low. Nah, I, 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 <laughs> well, you know what? In my, in, in my defense, I feel like if they don't want the airplane to smell like food, they don't have food at the airport. <laughs> right. So you'd be like, but you make the plane or because you know how they be like, yo, when we close this door, we ain't open it up. Okay, so we are at a crossroads right now. I want to say you guys, Spirit says you guys have been doing well, even though it's been volatile. The word they get for it is volatile. It's been volatile. But now we're at a crossroads. So we have got to get to where you really set these last intentions the set the intention of what you want to receive in 2022 2022 is going to be a really really good year i personally am going to be calling it the angel year why because it's 222 and that's an angel number so spirit is saying if you want to receive you gotta be ready you gotta be ready to receive your blessings you need to be like this you cannot be somewhere like, hold that grudge if you want to. See what happened. Hold that grudge if you want to. Hey, I wild, love you. I, 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 I wild is going to join my live eventually. We just got to get it coordinated. So if you need this little book, message me. Um, it's posted it's posted. It's online. Yeah. But if you need this little book, the little book is called It Works. It talks about how you need to write down what you want. It's like 14 pages. You could read it in like 20 minutes. Maybe faster. Minutes. 14 pages. But whatever. How? <laughs> hey, I, in school, we used to have to do speed reading with our finger. <laughs> I don't know what the speeds are no more. Anyway. <laughs> Okay. It shows you how to write it down and make it prosper. So this is an easy tool. Like we finishing, we finishing strong. I've already had a lot of stuff. I'm going to do an update video onto my YouTube page of all the things that I have received this year because I started in January. We on the last quarter, we're going to finish strong. Now, going forward, let me paint a picture for you of 2022. Man, harmony concerts music festivals one love compassion kindness generosity love intimacy sensuality creation beauty money prosperity good health and abundance yeah get into it like that's what we're working towards so if you are stuck if you're confused if you're feeling off track you're not crazy we need to find out what your specific blocks are. You can always book a reading. Um, excuse me, can you pin that? <laughs> yes, ma'am. You can always, um, <laughs> you can always was, book a I reading. I was trying to figure out what I should pin. Just put the website where they can schedule. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to 
uh, you also can get the It Works from my website too. Or you can download it. It's like download a PDF. It's like $3. It's a $3 book. So give me one second though. Because you know how spirit get going. We ain't even going to talk about my Whitney Houston issue. It's not <laughs> crack though. It's just you know, my version of that. So we got to move forward. We got to connect. Um, a big part of it is being grateful. Don't get caught. Yo, don't get caught slipping. Don't be like, did y'all see where they um, found out who that Karen was at the grocery store coughing on people? I think mm -mm. her name is Jane or something. I just saw, they found out who she was. She works for some company in Arizona coughing on people at the grocery store. Like the shit was funny. Listen, I know some people who would have flattened her ass. But the reason why that doesn't happen to you, you know how you'd be like, I wish a bitch would. I wish a mother. I wish a mother. And it don't happen to you because you would flatten them. You're not on their vibration. You're mm. not there. Y'all ain't going to run into each other. They, you can wish it all you want. Y'all ain't going to run into each other. It's always the people who were already low and they're like, like a bully. You know how a bully will pick on the weakest link? So it won't happen. But we know when we watch them, we be like, throw them blows. Oh my God. <laughs> but anyway, so we got to get, don't get caught up in all that. Don't get caught up in all the fighting. Do you notice there's a lot of fighting going on? Don't get caught up mm -hmm. in the fighting. It's like, it is collectively a healing crisis right now. Um, and I said this on the other live, you did not survive 2019, make it through 2020 to be going into 2022 to be knocked off your blessings because of the fourth quarter fighting. So don't get involved in the fourth quarter fighting. You need to be like, whatever you like, whatever you like. We're going to be like the girl on, um, what's that, coming to America? Hopping on what? Oh, mm -hmm. Because we don't have time. When you know better, you do better. It's almost like, we know we, we, know we could be petty, right? Can, can you be petty? Me? Yeah. Can you be petty? Man. Raise your hand if you could be petty. Listen, I am the queen of pettiness when I want to be. I would tell mm -hmm. you some of the stuff that I have done to be petty, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> certain people uh, might come <laughs> on the live and we don't, okay. we don't want them okay. to know. Okay. If we could be petty, right? We could do some petty. We know. And, and sometimes it feels so good, right? Because why? Just because we're spiritual and just because we're trying to do better. I'm not there yet. I know where the place is I'm going, but I'm not there yet. But I, I think I want to get there either because I like being right. a little petty because I'm Let's such a good girl. Fun. It's yeah, you know, because you because, because, and be, because people need people need that lesson. Sometimes you are the one to teach <laughs> that lesson. You gonna learn today. You, you gonna, gonna learn, learn today. You gonna, gonna learn, learn and when you reflect, you're gonna be like, damn, that bitch was petty. Right. <laughs> so we gotta just we just I'm all I'm asking, I want you to hear my voice in your head. Don't be petty, don't be petty. Terry said don't be petty. I want you to hear I want you to hear when somebody cuts you off in traffic, especially in Maryland, which I'm gonna be in Maryland next week and I'm almost dreading it because time you get to that beltway, yo. It just comes at you, right? Like it just I don't know what it is about 495, 295, 95, and 270. All the fives. All the fives. <laughs> Route fives. All, all the fives. Yes. I'm a clean girl until I drive in Maryland. Yes. And when like, I drive in Maryland, a, 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 a sailor comes out of my mouth. Yes. And I can be on the phone. Yes. We're going to talk to the angels about it. And it was... I just said angel in, in the same sentence. Yep. And it's she's what it is. speeding. Not like a And I'm not even a speeder. She's I not. am a but you know why I speed when I'm in Maryland? Because if you don't speed, oh my God, they are coming for you. So I be in the slow lane with the other slow people saying, Go, because you know their asses is gonna be on our ass. Oh my god. They're gonna be on our ass. Go. And then I'd be like, I gotta leave you behind because I'm not getting caught up in the in the road rage with you. So I gotta go around the slower person and I still stay in the slow lane, but I'm like She passes the slow people to make sure she is 
like because I'm the eating? fastest slow person. <laughs> yes, like. But I think about it. Those. Like I'm a massage therapist. My job is to be bringing relaxation and calm and peace. Like I'm staying in my element. I'm a re I'm a relaxation yeah. specialist. Eighty four twenty forty seven. She said, "You got you got run over. We got places to go. We sure do. <laughs> we in Mar we in DC. The whole point. And you is know what? The state ain't even that big or DC. So I don't know where y'all be going. <laughs> I know thing. where y'all be going. Happy hour. <laughs> brunch. Y'all be going to brunch. Brunch. Ain't no Sunday. But we got to go to DC and go to brunch. Yeah. Yeah. We got to get down to the harbor. We got to get down to the brunch. Because y'all know y'all love some food. Okay. I digress. The okay, little sorry. tangent about Marylanders. Because that is where my original family is from. Okay. So don't get caught up in the pet no, Don't get caught up in the hype. What? <laughs> <laughs> Lenita 8247 says Walmart and brunch. Yes. Yup, there you go. Don't TJ Maxx. Target at home goods. Right. Target at yep. home goods. Yeah, don't, don't. Mm -mm. Ross and Marshall? Marshall's. I think there's yeah. at home here too. Oh, no. Wegmans. Y'all got to get the club. Oh, Wegmans. yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, so don't fall okay. for it. Don't fall for it. Um, We're going to go through the cards now, but. I want you to stay in the picture of what is to come so that you don't miss the bus. You don't miss the train. Like, I'm going to be saving your seat. I'm going to be like, come on, girl. You could do it. And you'll feel it. You'll feel it when you have passed your test. Because, you know, it's always a test with spirit. You'll feel it when you pass the test. You'll know when you pass your test. If you're not clear, we can get clarity. I'm here. But think about being grateful, having an amazing year, having what is it everything that you've been through paid back mm -hmm. like being more in alignment being happier than you ever have been being more prosperous and healthier than you ever have been being more at peace than we've been in a long long time like we are literally in a collective healing but you were put here for it or else you would not have made it you made it you made it you made it so i'm like don't mess it up like it's almost like when you you finishing the test and you go back to start changing answers. Listen, don't mess it up. I'm trying to overthink. Okay, because it it will be nice going forward. I'm declaring 2022 angel year. Angel year. Blessings oh. overflowing. Anything also, okay, so technically when you look at numerology, right? You don't technically add master numbers. So when we look at the 20 and then the 22, you're not gonna add the 22 together because that's the master number. So then there's the first two. However, if you did add them together, that would still come to a six, which is a six is a number of harmony and balance. So either way you look at it, harmony and balance is where we are headed. You just got to hang in there. And listen, don't be getting mad at Papa Joe because he is trying to parent the country. He is trying to literally parent the country. He acting like we his kids and he the daddy. So he like, damn it, we all going down to the clinic tomorrow. And you like, you're not my daddy. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> mad, right? Why? Because nobody in our nobody in our country wants to ever be told what to do. What do people don't be telling me what to do? You won't tell me what you forget it's like a whole society of us out here. A whole it's a whole bunch of us. So it's not as easy as people make it seem. Especially when we got them rogue ones. Have you seen people on airplanes lately? You see that guy down. that was growling? <laughs> like Straight Zombieville. Straight Zombieville. You are going to get mad at Biden. Why? Because we're in that crunch. We're in that animosity. We in that he trying to toughen up somewhere and it's like, Joe, now is not the time. You got to make it through this fourth quarter. <laughs> can we tell, can we collectively as a group tell Joe that we want them student loans to disappear? Yes. Okay. We'll do that. We'll set it. Let's do a moment of, let's see our student loans dissolving into the nothingness from whence they came. It's just a bunch of electronic numbers. Let it dissolve away. <laughs> In Jesus name, amen. Amen. <laughs> Let the church say amen. 
Okay. Amen. Okay. 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 So I'm going to get to the cards now, but did anybody put any um, questions in or anything like that? Your guardian angels are mm -hmm. by your side, so they're going to protect you from harm. Um, keep praying. I'm going to post some prayers um, for cleansing a space, cleansing an area so that it can help keep your vibration up because we got to get to that next part. We got to keep the hope. We got to be awakened and not unawakened. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of hard when you see all this around you. That's why you can't plug in. Nature, na I tell people, if, if the trees ain't worried about getting watered, you don't worry about stuff that's out of your control. Like nobody's out there like, oh my God, we got a word of the forest today. The forest do what it do. So we're getting to a better place. It's like literally we're in September now. September is zipping by. We got October, November, December. And then we're going to cross the threshold into the new year. So don't forget your intentions. Write them down because in the months when we check in January and you can look back on all you accomplished in this last little check section, you will be happy that you did. Um, next year is new beginnings, um, being hopeful, growth and expansion, trusting God, like angels and feeling safe again. Poise and grace is returning next year. <laughs> poise and grace. I was told that poise and grace will be back. Okay. Okay, okay, so any questions before we run through the signs? Um, trying to stay on it because I got Reiki. Mm -mm, I don't think anybody put anything down. Okay, any other comments? Mm, no, people just, um, uh, Lanita was mad, I guess, with Joe. What, what was she mad about? The uh, <clears throat> vaccine? Probably. Uh, she didn't say. She says, that's your question. What's your question? You said, give me those initials. That's my question. But that doesn't, there was no question. You didn't put the disclaimer out. What? Remember, please put it in a sentence so I could understand. I kind of thought that, guys, at this point, we knew that complete sentences were required. But you know what? That was my fault. That was my fault. Cat, uh, Kat and Leno's Adventures. You can book an, a reading with her on her website. If you, I, I pinned her website, which you should be able to. Okay. So. Let me tell you, honeys. I got these new little cards that I'm working on, and um, they are a bit savage. Lanita8247 says, Terry knows, give me the initials from my reading. I don't, I don't know who Lanita is. Is that a code name? I mean, that's her Instagram name. L-A-N-I-T-A-8247. Put it in the, DM me, DM, DM me. Okay. I don't know if you can see DM while we're on this, but <clears throat> I'm lost. Yeah, put we'll put it whatever you want. Just put uh, just put it in the question box. No, it won't be in a complete oh, sentence. Look at look at uh young young prince. Look, how do you look? I'm so weird. I can't even do the hearts. Is this how you? Is this how you do it? Do it for me. Your, your thumb is just. Mm -hmm. I'm too tough for love. I'm too tough for love. No, there you go. You're doing it. <laughs> Hearts to young prince. She said um, she saw you with Tiffany. Oh. Are you doing live? I know who that is. She, so <clears throat> she's doing a quick shadow reading for all the signs. Um, That's the only way we can keep it fair because we're going to run out of yeah. time if we do it the other way. Yeah. Unless... Unless there's not a, okay, we'll start with Aquarius. Raise your hand if there's any Aquarius on the line. I mean, why are we starting with Aquarius? I don't know. They not even in the. T this is you. We're, no, we're gonna stick with what around. you. We're, we're, no, we're gonna keep with what you, what you did, like, what you were planning on doing. Okay. So, since you, since you, yeah, since we can't you're on a left. We can't do it the other yeah, way because you have a enough time. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start take it from the top. We're going to take it from the top with Aries. 
So Aries, this is what you need to know. We're going to finish strong, right? You're finishing strong with your tests. Aries, what you need to know. This is from now to the end of December. Now, of course, it's subjective. Take what you need and leave the rest. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not bossing you around or none of that. Let me know who's on the line. Aries, Aries, Aries. Show me Aries. Oh, okay, Aries. Listen, Aries, they're saying that you're going into some new chapters. So you got to know that with these new steps you're taking, you got to know that you are safe and protected. So Aries, I'm going to say for you that you need to be affirming, I am safe, I am safe, I am safe, I'm safe <laughs> as you step forward. Because I feel like you're going to step forward into something really big, um, something that you haven't done before. Spirit saying new chapters require a new version of yourself. So you got to let go of the part of yourself that I feel like it might be a part of yourself that's kicking and screaming. Like, like the part of yourself that's trying to go against the plan. But I have a plan. And that part is just getting louder and louder. And you're like, but I have a plan. And that part is like, yeah, but uh, uh, it's not for no reason it's so you can get to the next level so don't be so stubborn and stuck in your plan that you don't compromise um they're saying a lot of what's gonna happen for you for these last couple months is gonna be an illusion it ain't even real it ain't even real this isn't even real this is all made up so you gotta be able to stay grounded in who you are and when i say it's not even real it's like I know they didn't just disrespect me. Mm. I know they just didn't disrespect me. Remember, you're stay in the calm. test. You got to stay calm. You got to stay calm. Definitely, Aries, because you're the <clears throat> leaders. Okay, let's see what they have for shadow of, of anything with love. So that's overall. We'll hit the mm -hmm. love right quick. I'm going to try to keep it quick. They're like, don't resist the changes that are coming. Mm. Aries, if you don't take a risk in a relationship, you're going to miss an opportunity. What's that LMA song, Shot Clock? You going to miss this opportunity. Don't be fearful that you're going to get rejected. Don't be fearful and hold back. Clear, open communication and confidence is what's going to get you this relationship. And it's going to get you the love that you want and you deserve. Got it? Got it, Aries? Got it? Okay. We, we had a few Aries on here. Aries got to chime in on anything? Mm -hmm. on this well, if they do, I, um, I, I can do it after the next one. Yeah, I'm going for Taurus. So when I'm, you can, of course, say whatever when I'm um, shuffling, but mm -hmm. I'm going on Taurus now. Okay. Can you write so down the times, whatever. too, so I can put it in the YouTube video? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see, um, okay, we'll start okay. Taurus, yeah. Taurus, 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 what do you need to know? Sabine's treasure, are you, a, are you a Taurus? Okay, Taurus, Spirit is saying, yo, don't push yourself to exhaustion, like, because they like, you're working in your behind and you're working in your mind, so that means like you're on all the time. Like, don't get lost in all this uh, hustle and bustle. You know what is weird? You know the song, uh, Cupid Shuffle? My guys be creative as they want to be when they're trying to give me a message. You know that line dance to Cupid Shuffle? It's like you're doing a Cupid Shuffle on repeat, and it's like, when is this song going to end? <laughs> you up here long, and I'm like, is it going to end? They're like, you're shuffling. They're like, let your heart lead you to do the right things. Um people who are around you who have agendas that are different than you it might scare you it might intimidate you but spirit is saying pay attention and think about what you want because they're saying for you sometimes good luck will be disi disguised as bad luck so it might look like something's going wrong and it will be for the best for you remember you are 
in a test. So sometimes the back will look good. They like, don't fly off the handle. Because remember, we're practicing our patience. We're doing our Wusa, Taurus. You know, it's funny because this card is red, right? Don't poke the bull. But it's like, sometimes the good luck is disguised as bad. Don't let this time pass you by, though, either. Like, don't push yourself into exhaustion. That's what this last quarter is going to be about for you. Don't burn yourself out. They're like, follow your heart. Um, let's check for love, Taurus, what they want to tell you in regards to love or relationships. Uh, let's see. Ooh. It looks good, Taurus, because you got new options coming. Either your current relationship is going to get better or you won't be mingling in the festive season. Hey, if you single, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, Because something stable is coming up for you. They're literally like, be ready to receive it. Like, they're, they're giving me the weight example. Don't be up in here talking about I want a man, but I feel so fat. And then when fatty show up, you're like, he too fat. He too fat because you done said you too fat. So the universe is like, let's be fat together. So they're like, stop manifesting what you don't want. They're like, focus on what you want. And if you need to improve something in yourself, improve it. Like, work on it. Don't try to skip it and think you're about to get a 10 and you're not a 10, you're a 6. Not saying that y'all are 6. Just giving you an example. Oh my God. <laughs> Politically correct up in here, right? But you can't be like, oh, he's too fat. You too fat. <laughs> oh, what? A lot of people is fat. A lot of people got that COVID 19, 20, 22. Anyway, Taurus, give me a pound. You got this. <laughs> that is, uh, that's Sabine's treasure. Mm. Think about vacation, girl. Be there in your mind. If you can't be there with your behind, be there in your mind. Because they like they, you, they be you, trying you, them. Somehow mentally you, you spin in. It's like you think about this, you think about that. Okay, wait. Gemini. The triumph. Gemini. Gemini. Yeah. Gemini. Oh my God. I swear to God. Who's a Gemini? I could slap you in the face. Who's a Gemini Ooh, up in oh, here? Um, young Prince. Young Prince. After I just gave you hearts, now I got to give you slaps. They're like, I'm going to say it like this. Like I'm saying it solely to Young Prince, but this is going out to all the Geminis. To rise. You must let go of fear. <laughs> <laughs> to rise, you must let go of fear. I think that's a good one. One of y'all gotta go. Oh. I, I know. I don't know why that keeps doing that. I'm like, I'm on do not disturb and everything. Unless, who knows? I don't know. People always trying to interrupt my flow. They're like, to rise, you must let go of fear. I know it sounds like a cliche, but they're like, oh my God, what's that old school song? You could get with this or you could get with that. Mm -hmm. You could get with this or you could get with that. You could get with this or you could get with that. Like, you got to choose because they're saying, I don't know if you could read this or not, but it says the yeah. healing must occur before you can transform. So forgive yourself. Don't be comparing yourself to other people. Focus on your brand. Focus on your brand. Focus on your brand. Let's see what they have for love for you. They're like, you're on Gemini, you on your own journey. You in your own world. You like a unicorn right now. There ain't nothing you're gonna be able to compare it to. It's like uncharted territory. You gotta create it. Oh my god, I saw my superstar come in the room. Guess who it is? I love you. I'm not going to say no names because I don't want to make somebody else jelly. Love you, sister. <laughs> okay, okay. Love for Gemini. 
you're going to have difficulties in your relationship because your partner is emotionally cruel. You have a dishonest partner, domineering attitude, and they may be humiliated. And if you think I'm lying, can you see these words? Mm, not really. Okay, well, whatever. I'm yeah. not lying. <laughs> so they're saying any type of stagnancy you're coming out of, like you're coming out of something also that could have been boring and going into something more intimate and more passionate, I think it's like maybe more kinky or more freaky. So if you're ready to be, I want to swing from the chandelier. <laughs> you about to be swinging from the chandeliers, okay? Somebody has got their eye on you and they are like looking at you like old men talking about stopping somebody out with a biscuit. They are literally like, when I get my hands on Gemini, they are eating from the top to the bottom. So I hope y'all are foodies because the person who's coming for you, they are ready. And Spirit says, you don't got to push too hard. You don't got to be demanding. They like, be your natural self. It's going to come to you. It's in your cards for you. So like I tell other people, Take what you need, leave the rest. If you like, no, that's not where I'm going. Or And it could be a relationship you're already in that, that just gets a little hotter. Like, sometimes we need that fire. Build a fire. Okay, uh -oh, Gemini. I'm going to take a pause and shuffle for Cancer. Cancer. Any Cancers in the house? Just one that I know of. <laughs> Throw your crabs in the air. <laughs> Any cancers in the house? Cancer. Just Let's see what's going on. one right you. here. Okay. Cancer. Oh my God. What? What? Oh, Jamie Hudson. What is that? I can't it says, true love will find you in the end. And it literally has two astronaut people hugging. I but then it says <laughs> also out of all these cards you got how do you get the spaceship and the astronauts it says you're stepping into a brand new chapter you get the astronauts and the freaking spaceship look how many cards these are to get the astronaut and the spaceship it says do not give up because something did not work out right away meaning we know y'all are impatient and we know that y'all want what y'all want. And you know what the funny thing is? Everybody else gets a message about other stuff. Why your message of the shadows got to do with love? I ain't even used the love card yet. It says, continue to make the most of every open door. So you have open doors ahead of you. Pay attention. Don't be scared. Don't be scared to be free. I know it's hard for y'all because y'all houses is like on y'all back. Y'all got that tough shell. Don't be scared. You know, you know why I know I, I know why uh cancers are scared. It's because of people in Maryland who eat crabs. Y'all throw their asses in a pot of hot water and then you rip their freaking back off and you be like, it's probably DNA PTSD from the actual crab that y'all got. Somebody's oh gonna, yeah. Somebody's gonna rip me off and eat my guts out. Metaphorically that, speaking. That, that's <laughs> somebody's gonna rip okay, rip my heart out. Somebody's gonna rip my heart out and hurt me. That can't be in your consciousness. Mm. Okay. I don't like that one. I'll pull the love cards now. Because the other cards wasn't okay, bad example. Well, you know what the love card says? This relationship, he loves me. Right, pretty much. This relationship is developing what will be in the next stages. Okay, what? Raw sexual energy, desire, <laughs> taking the initiative in the relationship, making things happen. Relationship can be stale and unimaginative if you're not expressing your true emotions. So we know that con cancers like to be connected so they can express their full self. I feel like y'all are going to get tired of not expressing your full self 
and blow the whole lid off of it. Because if you get too mad, y'all get freaky and start going off course. So I think they're going to open this up for you soon because this has been in the making. So they're like, no worries, cancer. All y'all got is love. I can't get, uh, they didn't give me nothing else for y'all. So whatever. That's who y'all are as people. <laughs> Um, well, on the behalf of me and my fellow cancers that are on here, we thank who else you, is a cancer? Uh, Jane, uh, Janie Hudson, Conscious uh, Yoni Verse. Ooh, that's a name. Sri, Lan Sri Lanka's Beauty. Mm, that's a name. <laughs> um, okay, Leo, show us Leo. Leo, what does spirit want you to work on for this last section? Leo, Leo, Leo. Show us Leo. Leo, are y'all all right? You know how Erica Badu be like, brothers, y'all all right? Sisters, y'all okay? I'm like, Leo, y'all all right? Y'all all right? Mm. Believe in yourself and your ability to carry out your dream. Mm. If all you're doing is waiting, you won't value and appreciate the small moments. If you feel like you're just waiting, waiting for the other shoe to drop, listen, they like get on your career path. <laughs> career will be highly successful. Trust the magic of newness. Because they're like, you can, somehow something that you're doing is making you lose yourself. And you got to anchor in. You got to remember who you are. A lot of times in Leo, we're not even in love on the love cards yet. But with Leo, it's almost like be who you are and let them love you in all your radiance. You're not supposed to be stooping down to nobody's level because then you're coming out of your power. Mm. Um, okay. We're just going into love now. But that message kind of like squeezed over to love. Okay, so Leo, they say your needs are going to be met too when you get done being bored. Oh. Are you looking for change in your relationship? And you're wishing. They're like, everything looks good. Sit back and enjoy. Okay, you bored. Okay, if you bored, spice it up. But don't be claiming, don't claim what you don't want. Come on, don't use your magic that way. Um, especially if you feel like you can no longer see the future. Like, yo, cut it out. Knock it off. Get back. Recenter and get back to the dream. Keep hope alive. Come on. Cut it. I'm like, cut it out because I can feel it. I can feel it would be the word discouragement. They're like, don't get discouraged now. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Virgo. Where my Virgo's at? Virgo. Y'all probably at work. Y'all probably ain't in here. Y'all don't have time for stuff like this. <laughs> Y'all probably It's Virgo season, right? Yeah, it's yeah, Virgo season. probably at work. You know they got to make everything perfect. Uh, my, I don't know, M-Y-R-U-H-V-L. So we have a Virgo in the house. Okay. Yes. Nice deep breath, Virgo. Virgo, put them shoulders down. Put them down. Put them down. Let them go. Put them down. Put them Another shoulders Virgo. down. Who's the Virgo? I'm, well, underscore, I'm, underscore, me, period, underscore. Breathe, Virgo. Oh. Put, put them shoulders down. Oh, Happy birthday, good. Virgo. Okay. Yo, Virgo, y'all need some balance. You need some balance. You got to balance it. You got to balance it. Like, you need to balance the good and the dark, the light and the, the light and the, the light and the dark, so to speak. Because you're going hard in one area and not in the other one. And they're trying to let the wheel turn in your favor so that everything can be balanced out. Um, they're like, don't be so hard on yourself. And if a detour comes up, you can take it you can reconsider a decision and you can change your mind it's almost like giving yourself permission to change your mind so that you can get some more balance 
because you're going hard in one area and they're like you got tunnel vision but they're like it's what three four more months left so they're like you're in transition and you're changing but they're like don't get caught up on one thing because somehow i feel like that's gonna make you feel despair because if it doesn't turn out how you think it should it can like take you down into the pits okay. um and they're like they're trying to manifest love to you and it's almost like i don't know if you're either not seeing it or ignoring it we can get any love blocks cleared up if you got some love blocks um, we can get it cleared up, but they want you to have a balance. So they want you to have love, that good, good love. Let's see what else they say for your love cards. They Okay, Virgo will be like the strong friend right now. And it's like, check on your strong friend, guys. Mm -hmm. um, they want you to feel happy. They want you to be content. They want you to see yourself with some long-term plans of like, if you want to have marriage, if you want to have kids. They're literally like, things are going well. Things are going to go in that direction. If you're already in a relationship and, and you're loving it, they're like, this is a good sign to confirm for you that it's going well and it will keep going that way. Um, if you're single, they're literally like, they're trying to get you there. If you just had a breakup, sometimes you have to stop for a minute to sort out some feelings, but you guys can come back together and it will be better than it was before. So... Have a little patience because it's not over yet. The fat lady is not singing yet. Okay, Virgo. Wait, who, who was the fat sign earlier? Was it a Taurus? <laughs> so, oh, I yeah. <laughs> Taurus ain't done singing. <laughs> Libra. That would be funny if they're like, oh, my God, my partner is a Taurus. I know. It would be hilarious. The fat lady ain't done singing. Um, Libra. Libra. Oh my god. Oh my god, Libra. Who is a Libra? Do we, do we know any Libras? Are there any Libras in here? Libra, mm. let me suck my teeth at you. Spirit is saying for you to let go of the idea that you're not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to move on. I'm not ready to go forward. I'm not done yet. <laughs> They're like, you all in, you see why I keep doing that? I have no idea. I don't, um, I don't, I'm not seeing anything. The screen doesn't go dark? No. Oh, you know what? That's my timer. Duh. Because <laughs> I'm not touching my phone. Um, duh. Um, let go of the idea that you're not ready. They're like, you be people pleasing, right? But you got to fulfill your needs. Spirit's saying that you'll get what you wish for, but is it really what you want? They like, stop settling. Stop settling. Spirit is like, we talking to you and you hear us. Don't be trying to act like you ignoring us. Because they like, you trying to ignore us so you can settle down with something that ain't even good for you. When they like, let go so we can bring you something even better. But you ain't trying to hear it. You trying to just do what you want to do. Caramel Day is um, a Libra. Oh my God. They're like, suffering. Suffering is meaningless. Su don't suffer. Suffer, suffer. Don't suffer. Suffering is meaningless. If you, if I say to you, Libra, are you suffering? And if you say yes, it's like, why? Give me a good answer. Okay, so love. Reunion. Old flames coming back. A lot of people might have that because Mercury, but specifically for you, oh. an old flame might be coming back, but they might be causing problems. So it's not necessarily that they're coming back and y'all are skipping off into the sunset. They might be coming back just to be a pain in the you know what. Um, they're like, stay clear in your communication. They're like, it's nothing to play around with. Like, if you want it, okay, fine. If you don't, you don't. But they're like, get out of the middle. And it's okay if you got to take some time for yourself because sometimes you have to take time to put bad relationships behind you so that you can meet somebody new, which is why they're like, stop saying you're not ready. Because they're like, you're just suffering. Of course, this is not everybody. Take what you need and leave the rest. If you're in a happy marriage, of course, this isn't for you. Right. Or if you want a marriage and you like, I don't even like this. Book of mm. reading. Okay, let's go to the next one, Scorpio. You know, I've had some run-ins with Scorpios lately. 
And I really want to fight y'all, but I won't, Scorpios. Try not to be biased, Scorpios. <laughs> How do we live with y'all? Serial killers of the Zodiac. Right? Scorpio. Who's a Scorpio in here? Right. Raise your hand if you a Scorpio. Own up to your killing ways. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. All right, Scorpio. Spirit is saying it's all going to make sense to you soon. You got to believe in yourself. They're like, you're creating a you that you will be proud of. So <laughs> they're like, life is turning around. You're at a turning point. And they say you are ready. Um, so know whatever decision that you made, you're making the right decision. So you got to go forward. You got to walk in your decision. You got to own your decision. Um, they're literally like, realize that you have what you need um and they're like don't be soothing yourself either with um too much drinking too much smoking or too much shopping um of course like i always say take what you need and leave the rest because spirit is warning you to be careful who you take advice from um and you'll get the answers when you need they like you don't have to have it all at once it, it will intuitively come to you at the time that is, is needed. So if you don't have the answer, they're like, don't feel all crazy. You'll know when you know. Um, I know. The, You'll know. The, no, know. the Gab, uh, the Gab and Gal and nurse underscore me, nine, uh, they're Scorpios. The Gab and Gal says she feels attacked. <laughs> <laughs> you represent in, you represent in your hood. The Scorpios. Okay. Okay, now the good news is they say you're coming to the end of your delays. Um, you will be having good news from your partner if you're with somebody. Um, your communication is going to open up. They say having more conversations soothes a lot of stuff, especially if in the relationship you've had a lot of heartache or pain or if you've recovered from a breakup. They're like, give things time to develop. You don't got to rush anything at this moment. And don't be afraid of being rejected or that things aren't going to work out. They're literally like the wheel of fate is turning in your favor. So don't get nervous. You got to pull through. We in the last quarter is fight or flight, but don't kill. You know, y'all got that stinker. Scorpions sting you. They'll sting you in a minute and not even apologize. Do you all apologize? Do Scorpions apologize? Nurse underscore knee. I'm going to um, shuffle for the next one, but that's a good question. Do Scorpios apologize? Anybody? Does any, has anybody ever been apologized to by a Scorpio? Uh, Raise your hand. You know, I actually feel like Scor oh, she's a nurse me says sometimes. Oh, okay, um, and okay. the Gab and Gal says when wrong, but when am I wrong though? Now, oh, you know what? Yeah, yes, that's yeah, the Scorpio exactly. I know. Because I've, I've had a, I've, my, one of my best friends, Scorpio. I don't think. I don't think so. But she I'll, never give you the speech. I'm sorry. I don't think so. But I usually have to. I but the one wrong, but one of my wrong though. That's a typical conversation with a Scorpio. Because even when you break it down to them, maybe like no, that's just, that's just your opinion. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you're like, I mean. Okay. So I know I went outside for a few minutes at nighttime. I mean, like right before the live, I got bit by mosquitoes. I think. Mm. They was like sweet thing. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay. Sagittarius, your first card out says, "Remember, you came here to teach others, so get on your grind." They like you're. You gotta share. Sagittarius is be going. Sharon, where are you at? They be. Hello, can you bring your knowledge to the rest of us? Share some of that. Um, they're like, you don't have to be in control of everything. Things will be like a roller coaster, but you should be learning new things and teaching other people things too, because that's part of your process. Um, they're literally like, don't worry about money, Sagittarius, because you're going to master that material real quick. Um, and again, like Scorpio, they say it'll all make sense soon. Um, they're also saying you're in the process of manifesting your soul tribe. So those people who are going to really, really be 
there with you. Um, and they're like, keep pushing yourself, challenging yourself, disciplining yourself to reach your goals. Uh, let's see what they have for you for love, Sag. Why, why do you do that? Start underscore 1204. Are you a Sagittarius? Dev, da Dev Davy 15, say let go of control. So I think, so I guess you two are Sags. Yeah, mm. y'all are about to have a good relationship too. Oh. They like even if you're fighting, y'all can resolve it. Um, how do people fight if they're in a poly relationship? Do you know? I'm too I jealous think, of being a. I'm too jealous to think about a poly relationship. I think they're trying to um say something to some. It, it might be one person on here who's in a poly relationship that Spears is trying to talk to. But it's almost like uh, somebody's being selfish in that poly thing. They like pay attention to it. Don't be dismissing it. That's why I was like, I don't even know how to fight Sko in a poly. Do y'all gang up on the one or every man for they self? You don't got to say if you're in a poly, but I'm just telling you what that one probably that one person that's on here they're like it's almost like they're like don't let them get away with it because just because because we in a poly um nurse me says they're rough sagis yeah cold they could be cold i think detached um hmm? De like in a detached way is that why they yeah yeah is yeah that why like people might cold? perceive it as cold yeah because okay. they're not necessarily in, they're engaging on the intellectual level and you don't necessarily always feel their hearts yeah but, but aren't they known to be partiers aren't y'all known to be aren't yeah, to like party? yeah but you won't party with your heart you party with that mind y'all about to get fucked up <laughs> <laughs> life with a party making all the jokes that, that ain't with your heart um they are said they do say being careful of doing too much focus on on chaos in the relationship um and they also say you might be dealing with somebody who is indecisive or difficult um it might be hard to sustain um you might need some clarity on if you want to go forward in it or if you want somebody else because if somebody else isn't like participating the way that you want them to you also always have the option to let go just let go and that's fine too take what you need leave the rest oh. okay capricorn okay. capricorn oh. who even knows <laughs> the goats where my goats at up on a mountain somewhere I wish you could do fancy things like put a goat picture up when it's Capricorns. Let me see. I will never forget those mountain goat pictures. It's like, what are you doing up here away from oh, yeah, society? No, the goat is here. Lawn 357. Okay. Okay. Oh. Throw the whole sign away. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. First of all, I don't like to give Capricorns no warnings because Capricorns already be suspicious. They already be having their eyes on you. So we don't need to give them no warnings to make them even more warning. I mean, even more cautious. But it says, be careful of who and what you surround yourself with. And I feel like it's because Literally, if you're the leader of the crew, how are you going to get fed? And I feel like you could get depleted if you're the leader of the crew. Span a little bit, travel. And it's like, I know we're in the COVID, but they're like, it adds some elements to your life. It might add peace of mind. So even if, let's say, you're not getting on a plane, you're taking road trips or something, so you can get out of that energy that they're around. Um, I feel like something could be stifling you or and causing you to be in fear that's not really yours. 
So you got to be able to let go. So what they're saying to you is get into another environment, maybe spend some time in nature so that you can come up out of that because they're like, any heaviness that you're feeling, I want to say it isn't necessarily yours. It's from looking at everything around you. Um, they like, don't take no action if you feel the resistance or if you feel uncertain. They like, wait till you feel more certain because they're like, if you do it in scarcity, you'll keep, it's like you'll keep trying to, trying to make it instead of making it. So they're like, scarcity will limit your success. So they want you to feel like a certain level of abundance before you try to manifest. Okay. Otherwise, it's like you're going to be in a paper chase. Um, let's see for love, Capricorn. Okay, single, don't worry. They're working on it. Somebody might be in a... a third party situation do Capricorns got a high sex drive they say you might be feeling um disappointed or not all the way stable in the relationship that you're in um but open communication is how you could develop it to the next stage so I can't tell if this is doubt you're experiencing is yours or somebody else just because spirit is saying you might need to take some time in another environment or you might need to get away for a while. So I would say before you make any decisions, clear your head, um, especially if you want something deep and meaningful. Spirit is saying that it's available for you, but you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Mm. Sorry. So Lon uh, 357 says, um, yeah, they, I guess they do have a high sex drive. Yeah, because they're like, something Something is making them, like, not all the way satisfied. Maybe they're insatiable, like that Prince song. Insatiable. I love Prince. Um, I channeled yeah. Prince one time. Okay. Oh, you did? Yeah. You had to tell us the I story. I did. I can't tell you now because I'm in a hurry. Yeah. But Aquarius, I'll, I'll save that Prince channeling for another time. We'll have to get on here just just for you to um, share some of your stories. I know. Okay, Aquarius. Stories from my readings. All the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Aquarius. Is. They're like, you headed to the top. You got to let go of things that know it all. Don't be a know it all. Let go. Let, just be like, I'm receiving. Spirit is like, it's so funny. Your guys are like, you guys are like, yeah, we know everything, which is fine, but you're inside there, and it's like, you talk to your guys, so you like, I know everything. But it's almost like, I, I didn't, it's not quite like that. It's like, yeah, you could tap in and get information, but they like, sometimes you knowing everything, you skip stuff because you think you know it, and then you don't participate, and then you miss out on something, and then you act like it wasn't nothing, but it's really something that you could have used. So they're like, they're trying to let you go into a new chapter. Um, they're like, you got to treat yourself well, but you got to let go of what you thought. It's the same story as somebody else earlier. Let go of what you thought it was going to be and let it be what it is. Um, and they're saying, don't give up because even if it doesn't work out one way, it's going to work out in another way. Like luck will be on your side and you're going to be blessed. But they like, don't be over here knowing the wrong thing and not letting go. Um, I almost feel like even, even, even with love, it's like, don't be like, I know they want me. And what if they don't? <laughs> And you like, they'll come around. And Spirit is like, we got like three prospects lined up for you right there. But you like, no, I know they want me. And it, and it's like awkward. It's awkward. Your team is like, we got to get this, some stuff. It doesn't have to just be love. That's just an example. But they're like, some stuff is awkward because it's almost like blinders on. But it makes you blind. Is it like tunnel vision blinders? Yeah, but it's like. In regards to, I know that it's something they, they're waiting to receive, but it's almost like they're missing, they're missing something because they're blinded by what they already think. So it's like, step back a minute 
And it's part of it because you like to be in control and you like to feel like I know what to do with my time. I manage my time the way I want to manage my time. Um, but you have deep relationship coming up. And I think it may not be with who you think it is. I think it might be somebody totally different. And I think they're like, you're missing the point. And I think your partner might think you're insensitive, even if you're not insensitive. So it's almost like if you know that about yourself or if you know that that's just how we are, then put that in your mind sometimes. Oh, that's just how we are. Oh, well, if that's just how we are, that's how I'm acting. But I really don't want to be that way because I could see they're hurting. Like jump into some compassion a little bit instead of always, it's like a know-it-all. Because they're like, you're missing something. Yeah, but that's the thing. When they do self-reflection, they be like, I know it all. And it's like, um, you know, you so how do you get out of that perspective loop? of the op somebody else? It yeah, it's like, come out of that loop. Because solutions are right here. But it's like, it's like you can't quite see it. And part of it is because you're very, 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 very intuitive. But I don't know how so much ego got mixed into that. I think it's like, I know everything. I, I, I think it's I think it's an Aquarius thing. I know, but the and somebody out there, there's a sign that is like adores Aquarius, and they they will tolerate it, but still eat ease up a little bit. Um, Pisces last Pisces. Mm. Do we have? We don't need Pisces no reading, do we? Here. Are there any Pisces in there today? All I know we ain't in here. We somewhere Netflix and chilling with ourselves. Where Pisces at? I right. know us. Parking lot pimping. Oh my God, are we ever? We ain't everybody parking lot. Ain't no telling what Pisces could be doing. Yeah, Pisces are like y'all, y'all like random as f. I mean, y'all like F. only kids. Like if like yeah. an only child. Like how did you end up there? Why are you there? What are you doing? And then turn around and do something completely opposite of that. An hour later. Damn what? Pisces. What'd you do? Pisces. It says. Don't let people suck the air out of your spirit. <laughs> Why they got to come to those like this? Oh, they're like, believe in yourself and your ability to carry out your dreams. Sheesh. They're like, you're tougher than you think you are. You will be a great success, but you will have to go through it to get there. The lessons need to be learned. Damn. Didn't we learn it already? What else? It's okay to be different, so don't fit in. We know, we know. Oh, it says you miss the beauty when you are stressed. Be gentle with yourself. Be messy. Sometimes let it all go. You ain't gotta tell me to be messy. If I take down this partition, y'all gonna be like, who lives here? <laughs> Bob the Builder? Got my tools out. My it's tools Bill the Builder. Tools and crafts. I gotta get my uh, reef on the door for Halloween. I already done decorated the balcony. I got mums, orange, and yellow flowers everywhere. Oh. It's just who I am. For the, for who... the fall harvest. Yes. Oh, God. Pisces, you might have just had a breakup, but it's okay. They like, you moving forward. We know, we know that you are in control and you like to be demanding at times. But... A deep and a meaningful relationship is on the horizon with sexual satisfaction and passion. You know, that's all we want. And the funny thing is, right on the heels of that, they say that arguments and disagreements, that can be resolved. Um, but don't let it turn into abuse. So don't be out here beating nobody up, y'all. You know how we could get, we'd be like, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Don't beat them up. Don't cuss them out. Like, totally. Sometimes you are you are intimidating to certain people, so keep that in mind. Even though you'd be like, who? Me? What? Just keep that in the back of your mind. What? Me? 
And then if it feels like it's unimaginative, try to pull some of the tricks from up your sleeve. <laughs> I'm going to leave it right there. <laughs> this is not an X-rated show, Pisces. We know who our queen is, Rihanna. So we have hit them all. Yay. In um, record speed. I have Reiki up next. We are gonna blow it out the water. This is an experiential Reiki where we're gonna make it do what it do. I don't even know what it's gonna do, but it's gonna do something. Um, Jamie Hudson wants to know if you'll put this on your YouTube channel. Of course, my moderator is gonna download it to the IG. And once it's downloaded to the IG, I will switch it over to the YouTube so that you can look at it at another time. Okay. Because it's valuable. Spirit has spoken. Yes. Um, keep your heads up. Don't fall for the fights. Pretend you're on camera. Like people who th people who think they ain't on camera and then find out, oh, the internet about to drag your ass. Don't be one of them. Because you know they will find you. They will come for you and they will find you and you will lose your jobs. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Don't fall for it. I wonder if the man on the plane who was growling has a job. Yeah, I mean, he has to. But you saw he was also married. He had a wedding ring. Why was he doing that? I think, I mean, I'm going to say. He was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. I don't like. I want to say, I think he, he was probably, like, to me, I think he was either, um, there was, he was. Bath salts? Yeah, that too. But I think you know, maybe. No, that's that Florida stuff. Yeah. Maybe he was coming from Florida. Um, <laughs> maybe, and I don't know. I think, um, I think that maybe, like, either something was wrong with him mentally or he didn't take his oh. medication. Or he was off, he didn't take his medication. Who knows? Maybe he packed it in his suitcase that was that he checked in, and the med you know the <laughs> medication time. That was just I I don't even know. I got nothing. I mean, I, I don't I, I don't I don't know. I, I don't couldn't know even tap in on that one because I'm not gonna say the obvious. Oh, he or oh, maybe drunk. Yeah, but how many people you know get drunk and start growling like that? Like real like that. It wasn't somebody like, be like, My husband used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, growl at me and like, you know, like I love on me, but don't growl. Here you go. Don't growl don't be growling like, Don't be growling in the plane. Save like, yeah, that don't be growling people. like you a bit you trying to pretend like you a You really to try to eat me. <laughs> yeah. It's a line. There's a line. Yeah. Don't yeah. growl at me like you're really going to eat me. Just growl at me like you want me. <laughs> it's a line. I, I was going to say something, but I won't go there. However. <laughs> right. All right, you guys. Time for me to get prayed up so we can hit this stratosphere. Yes. All right. Well, See you thank guys you. Soon. You are so welcome. Um, save this so that I could post it and I will see you guys soon. Have a good one. All right. Good night. Okay. Bye.